Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here at Weather School and today I want to talk to you all about troughs. At Weather School we spend quite a bit of time discussing troughs. They're the lines marked on the charts just as solid black lines. You can see some on this chart um, just west of Scotland and another one just to the south of Ireland. Now when you see troughs I want you to think showers because that's what they are. It's a concentrated area of convection. That means cumulus clouds they're the fluffy stuff and what happens is that these cumulus clouds group together you get some embedded cumulonimbus in there as well and you get definite lines of showers developing now you can see those on the radar picture here the chart that we looked at was for uh, 6 a.m. in the morning these charts now are going through from 6 a.m through to 9 a.m. and you can see the lines of showers coming into western Scotland also across western and southwestern parts of uh, Wales and into the southwest of England and another area of showers as well across the south of Ireland. Look at the satellite picture. Notice that uh, we've got clear skies at first but then you see those clouds gathering together moving in from the west. Those are the showers associated with the troughs that we see on the chart. Now, um, if we just look at the forecast weather, uh, and this is forecast radar from uh, the meteorseal.co.uk site, um, what we'll be able to pick up on quite quickly is the movement of those showers from west to east. As we just run through the sequence here, you can see those showers moving eastwards through Scotland, through northern England, and through the Midlands. They're all associated with those troughs. And notice how the showers are banded together rather than being as individual showers. And that's what troughs tell us, that they will move through as bands of showers rather than scattered showers here and there. There'll be a definite movement through of those showers when we see troughs. Incidentally, the chart we're looking at here is a precipitation type chart. And a precipitation type chart tells us whether it's like to be rain or snow that falls. Rain is shown as blue, the snow is shown as red on this chart. So if we just show you again, but speed it up this time, just look how quickly those bands of showers move their way eastwards during the day as those troughs move in from west to east. You can also see the troughs as well on the um, forecast QT diagrams. This is for six o'clock in the morning at Birmingham. And don't forget, you can get lots more information about the skew tees at weatherschool.co.uk. In fact, we've got an online course for you there, but this is the uh, forecast chart for 6 a.m. in the morning. And notice how by midday in the afternoon, that gray line has moved to the right of the red line, indicating that the air is unstable. That's a classic signal for cumulus and cumulonimbus clouds. And then by the uh, middle of the afternoon, we're seeing showers move through. We're seeing temperature and dew point lines come together indicating that there are showers around, although the bases are fairly high. Temperatures below freezing, so that means that icing would um, come into uh, force as well um, during the course of the afternoon, given this set of charts. So you now know more about troughs, how to see them on the surface charts, what to look for on satellite and radar, and also how you can forecast the movement of the troughs and the weather they'll bring by using model information available on the internet. Don't forget to click the subscribe button below here and also click the alert alarm which will notify you when new Weather School videos are available. There's loads more information across at our website weatherschool.co.uk and you can find out more about our classroom based courses and also you can now take online courses at weatherschool.co.uk as well. You can follow us on social media. These are the addresses. Twitter, we're at WXWeb and at WeatherSchool. WeatherWeb, we on Instagram, sorry, we're at WeatherWeb. And on Facebook, we are at WeatherSchool and WeatherWeb.net. It'd be great to see you there. OK, I will leave you with that for now. But whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. There'll be another Weather School video very soon. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.